Well, good afternoon. Welcome to Light Efficient Designs Pro Workshop. This is our first one of 2021. I'm excited. It's April, and this one's going to be on Lumi Cleanse disinfecting products. My name is Rebecca Healy, Sales and Marketing Coordinator. I've got Doug Nibblesberger, the VP of Marketing, and Diva Gershaw, Chief Innovation Officer. So we're going to provide you with some education today, and we're also going to have some fun. We're going to have some trivia questions. So throughout the presentation, there'll be four questions. So the first person to answer correctly in the chat box. Uh, we'll win some cash in those um, is anywhere from $25 to $50 Visa gift cards. Am I eligible? Can I win the cash? No. <laughs> All right, Sorry. I'm leaving. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he just like did this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so make sure you have your chat. Do not put in the Q and A. Um, Q and A is for questions at the very end, and at the very end we'll have um, a Q and A. So, at the uh, but the, before that we have the quiz. If you always do, if you receive five out of six questions correctly, you're going to be eligible to receive a black 20 ounce Lumi Cleanse Yeti. I just ordered them today, so they'll be in Tuesday or Wednesday and carry. Um, and then if you receive a perfect score of six out of six, you'll be entered into a chance to win a $100 Visa gift card. So we're giving out 10 Yetis and five $100 Visa gift cards. So pay attention. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Why are we wearing purple today, Rebecca? I'm wearing purple because that's the color of Lumi Cleanse. Me too. Cool. <laughs> I was just trying to look sharp. I just say happened that was a purple shirt, but. You know. Yeah, it actually, it almost looks, yeah, burgundy, but it's definitely <laughs> purple. I will say it's purple. Um, okay, cool. And then, um, so yeah, let's start out right away with a trivia question, okay? So everybody get your chat box up. I'm gonna pretend um, that I'm putting in an answer. Okay. $25 on the line for the first person to answer Rebecca's trivia question. Okay. What are we calling the series of videos that feature a product in under one minute? This thing's about to blow up. It's about to <laughs> YouTubers. Oh, I don't think we have one yet. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, Jared. Man, Jared. Got Jared. My guy from the Hoosier State. Go Hoosiers. A lot of, a lot of big moves for Indiana basketball. Uh, the correct answer is LED in 60 seconds. We've got some of those videos up on our website and then on our YouTube channel. So check them out. We're going to continue to do more of them and we're going to have better presenters than myself. So. <laughs> All right. I'll, uh, I'll take it away. All right, everybody. Thank you uh, again for joining us. Uh, you know it's Friday afternoon. We got the Masters going on, uh, but appreciate you guys being here uh, with us uh, for our uh, TED Magazine award-winning Pro Workshop webinar series uh, today. Uh, we are going to be talking about the products and the brand on the right, which is our uh, LumaCleanse Cleanse brand that Rebecca mentioned. Uh, if you guys want to talk about any of the other products, we're happy to do so another time. But today we're going to be talking about. Uh, Luma cleanse here. Um, and as far as today's agenda, so pretty similar to what we've done in the past on these pro workshops, um, but we're going to give you guys a couple updates on, uh, on our company. And then uh, I'm going to do a, uh, a nice little quick refresher on our UVC one. That's the tabletop unit that we launched uh, last fall. Uh, and then uh, David's going to do a deep dive into two of our, our latest innovations with UVC, which is our UVC tower and then the UVC air. Uh, which is going to be uh, just an awesome product. Can't, can't wait to share that with you guys. And then, uh, like Rebecca said, we're going to test your knowledge. Five out of six or uh, six out of six gets you a chance to win some, uh, win some stuff. So uh, with that, uh, company update is Solera. Solera Solar Lighting, our, our website. Um, we've made some improvements, some updates to it, uh, focused around the product section. Um, so actually, if you go to our LED website, uh, and you try to go to anything solar related, you will actually get redirected to the uh, Solera website. So one of the things that we spent some time doing was building out our, uh, our product pages. And if you guys aren't aware, it's uh, solera-solar.com. That's where you can uh, find this uh, directly. Or again, if you go on the Light Efficient Design website and click anything solar related, you'll get bounced over here. Um, but here's a little uh, sneak peek at what, what you'll see. Um, so this is our uh, solar uh, floodlight here, um, but we've got nice images and then we've got all the technical documents that you can need. So we've got spec sheets, install instructions, IES files, and then even success stories. Um, we love doing success stories, especially on the solar products with it being new uh, innovative technology. Um, and we're building out the images. Um, we've got videos on every page. 
Um, so really have uh, you know, built out these product pages. If there's anything else that you guys would like to see, uh, let us know. We're always looking to improve it to make it a better user experience. And uh, like I said, we'd love some pictures. Uh, if you guys can get us any solar pictures specifically, we'll buy you lunch via a gift card. So um, just send those to uh, Rebecca and we'll, uh, we'll hook you guys up. So that's our uh, update on uh, Solera. And then just a sneak peek into next pro workshop. Uh, it's gonna be focused on this new uh, innovation from Light Efficient Design. What is it? It is the new Superflex G7 post top series from Light Efficient Design. What does Superflex mean? It means that it's nine SKUs in one. So you've got three wattages, three colors all in there. And most importantly, smaller is better when it comes to retrofit lamps. That's all I can say for today. You'll have to join us next time. But if you do want a sample, reach out. We've got samples available right now. So with that, we'll dive into LumaCleanse um, and, and really kind of want to focus uh, again on some of the di differentiators of, uh, of LumaCleanse and our products and what separate us from all the other products that have uh, you know, come out um, uh, in this category. So we're really the, fir the first manufacturer out there that came out with an e ETL and FCC tested product. It's very important. Uh, these UVC lamps they're very helpful for us, uh, but they are something where you really shouldn't be around the light uh, when it's operation. So it's really important for us to have these safety uh, certifications associated with it. Uh, we don't see that on a lot of the other uh, UVC products that are out there. Uh, simple to use. So this is pretty much, uh, you know, plug it in and uh, use, a, use an easy to use remote to, uh, to operate. So no professional, you know, uh, need there, or sorry, professional installation or, you know, no training to use the product, safe to use. Uh, we have a built-in motion sensor on there, so it'll uh, make sure that if, you, if somebody is around the fixture while in use, uh, that the fixture will power down uh, and turn off the UVC light. Uh, like I said, no, requires no pro installation, so it's just a, a simple plug, plug it into an outlet um, and, you're, and you're good to go, so no, uh, no in-depth uh, training there. And, you know, low cost. Um, you know, there's certainly some products out there in the beautiful world of Amazon, but uh, again, I'm not sure you're going to find the things listed above here uh, with those products that you might see, but still a great killer price point um, on this product. Um, and then probably most importantly, but, you know, this is coming from a reputable brand, Light Efficient Design. We've been around a long time. It's got a one-year warranty on it. Uh, don't commonly see warranties associated with uh, the other, you know, lower price point uh, units that are, you know, maybe similar to this. So, you know, if you have any issues, we're going to be here. We're going to stand behind the product. Uh, that's the integrity, you know, of us and our, and our company. So um, just a couple other reminders um, on the UVC uh, one fixture. Um, it does come with an eight foot cord. So it does give you some nice flexibility for plugging it into an outlet and being able to set it uh, comfortably on a, on a tabletop. Um, and it does cover up to 300 square feet. I believe when we did this uh, back in the fall, we said 100 square feet. Uh, we did some further uh, testing and evaluation. And, uh, and now we're able to say that this will uh, disinfect a room up to 300 square feet. And that's at the, uh, the 60 minute um, setting there. Um, a reminder that we do have dosimeter cards available. Um, refresher on dosimeter card, essentially, it's a, it's a way to measure uh, the effectiveness of the UVC light. Uh, the way I kind of like to think about it is it's, it reminds me of like the, the pH uh, level testing from back in like science class in middle school. Um, you know, so you're looking for that, that card to change color and that'll, uh, that'll indicate that, uh, that the light has been working. Um, so a great way to tell, um, you know, that the, that the product is there to support you. And then one of the other big things um, that, uh, that don't see from other products in the similar uh, space is we do not produce any ozone. Uh, with our uh, with our product, and why is that important? Um, I've got it up here on the screen, but I'm going to read it because I think it is very important. Ozone is a lung irritant that can cause lung damage, chest pain, cough, aggravate chronic respiratory issues when indoors. And I don't say that as a scare tactic, but just to make sure people are aware. Um, you know, so when you are you know looking and comparing us against that Amazon product, let's say, you know, let's you know look to see if they uh, have any claims about not producing ozone. Because uh, we want to make sure that, you know, that you're safe and your customers are safe with the products um, that they're using. 
A lot of people have asked, you know, where do, where do we see these being used? Uh, so here are some just some common uh, applications, um, offices, bathrooms, break rooms, maintenance, hotels, service counters. We have had a lot of success with, uh, with school districts, um, along with some uh, senior living centers, and then, uh, and then hospitality hotel groups uh, for their conference rooms, uh, you know, having people in and out. It's a nice quick way to, uh, to disinfect the, the room. So uh, that's a nice little uh, refresher that I have on uh, the UVC1 uh, tower, or not tower, uh, tabletop fixture. Uh, those are in stock, uh, ready for you guys. And, uh, and now I think it's uh, trivia time. It is trivia time. All right. So, yep, uh, get your chat box open. Be ready to type in the second question. Is it worth, is it worth 25? 25. 25. Ready, Rebecca. You sure I can, I'm sure I can't get that gift card? I'm uneligible. Damn. Um, <laughs> name the school that won the 2021 Women's NCAA National Championship. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a good one. Andrew. Well, let's see here. I, I think it was Andrew. Women. We're that. talking about women's, right? We have women's. Women's. Yeah. So the, let, me, let me quickly go down. I don't have it's my tournament. So it is going to be Rebecca is the best. Uh, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew. 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 Nice. Andrew. I went Andrew, to, right. I went to university. Good job. I went to University of Connecticut. And during the, the years that I was there, the women were just unstoppable. It was so fun going to those games. Those were fun. Yeah. Really good. My uh, my school, Indiana, we had a good run this year, but we didn't uh, didn't quite get there. So next year. Next year. I went to the final four. My, my senior year of, at UConn, the men were in the final four. We lost in uh, Detroit. So that was a fun experience. But all right, back yeah. to the show. <laughs> hey, hey, David, uh, I got a text from somebody that's on the pro workshop. They didn't want to put it in there, but oh boy, they said, uh, they said I did great, uh, that we all look great. Um, but they said, you know, with all the vaccines rolling out and everything like that, is there really need for, you know, LumaCleanse and these disinfection lighting products? Um, sorry to put you on the spot, but what you think we can maybe address that in your part? <laughs> what are you playing like the disgruntled customer that's complaining that this isn't a good solution? <laughs> is that what's going on, Doug? <laughs> Darn it, we don't need this. Up here. <laughs> no, I love it. No, that, it's, 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 it's a great question. It's a relevant question. Um, it's a great intro into my presentation because, you know, when, when we launched the Lumi Cleanse brand and the first product, what Doug just spoke about, um, she's about a year ago, right back in about April of 2020, the pandemic was just getting started. Um, people were scared. People were confused. People weren't sure about how long things were going to stay open. I'm sorry, closed. Um, when things would be allowed to be reopened, and people were very excited about using UVC, ultraviolet C light, as a tool to reopen their schools, reopen their facilities. Some of the, the examples that Doug spoke about just a moment ago. Here we are fast forward a year in April, 2021. And you know we're all really excited about everything reopening, um, our schools, our businesses, our, uh, you know, our restaurants reopening. Um, we're starting to get vaccinated. Hopefully we'll all be vaccinated pretty soon. Um, but there's still a big question as to if UVC light is a good tool for the future, for the you know for the 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 the, the um, continuing duration of this pandemic and after. So Doug asks a great question. It's a relevant question. I know that a lot of our reps, a lot of our customers, are being asked that when they're showing these devices. Hey, do I really need this? Is this still relevant? So I prepared some material, um, conveniently prepared some material, to to address that. All righty. So hopefully we can see the screen okay. So are these products still relevant? This was an article from Forbes um, just a couple weeks ago about how the COVID pandemic is not over. The past must uh, may be a prologue. And basically this is saying that, um, it, that, that we need to continue to be vigilant. that you know, we need to get our vaccines, we need to be vigilant about keeping our places safe and clean. Otherwise we could actually start going backwards. And I'll give you an example cited in this article about going backwards. This is again an excerpt from this article. This is Italy, 
So this is Italy. Um, you know, here we are in March 2021, a few weeks ago, and they had a huge spike and they were doing well for many months. And a lot of this is attributed to, um, to establishments, establishments reopening, um, the warmer weather, people being around each other more, um, outside more, or, or rather visiting, visiting indoor places more because they're walking around, they're doing more than they were in the winter. So Italy is kind of a forewarning that many scientists are saying, hold on, let's be careful. This pandemic is not over. We need, we're, 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 we're doing well, we're on a good track, but this is really the question. So if this is what happened in Italy, here we are in the United States, you can see we're doing great, right? You know, here was that trend last year. It really peaked in the winter. It's come down quite a bit, very exciting in March. But the real question is that scientists have, what is the trajectory? Is it going to continue to stay low? Is it going to go down, which we all hope, which I think that these devices today I can show you will, will, will be a, a major factor in helping us continue that trend down? Or are we going to uh, have what happened to Italy, which is go in the wrong direction. None of us want that to happen, right? So um, this was a great article. I can send you the link if anyone's interested about how using tools to keep places clean and safe is going to be continually important, continuously important um, throughout the, the, the future of this pandemic, which is not over, and even after that. Now let's go into a little bit different angle on this. Um, this, this particular uh, uh, couple slides, this material was prepared before this pandemic even began. So keep this in mind. This was prepared before the pandemic even began. Um, antibiotic resistant infections are increasing every year. Um, costs for, for, on the right here, for food recalls due to contamination in manufacturing plants. Um, Americans becoming ill because of foodborne illnesses sick days because of you know people going into the office not picking on Doug but maybe Doug comes in with a cold he's not feeling well I'm in the cubicle next to him he's coughing I get sick I'm out of work the next day that is a huge hit to productivity and a huge hit to um to, to lost uh productivity or GDP every year so the point is with this is that is that focusing on keeping our facilities our buildings our universities clean is relevant even if this pandemic never happened. It, it, it's hugely relevant. It's become more and more relevant every year because we have this huge issue with antibiotic resistant infections. Um, and scientists are predicting that, that even viral infections because we've all been inside every day um, or quite a bit during the last year, hopefully not every day, but we've been inside quite a bit over the past year. So our um, immune systems are weaker. So we have the potential for viral infections and antibiotic infections being ever, ever increasing um, at a higher rate, not good. So a, more, a, a really good reason to keep our facilities clean because we really are at a war with germs, even if this pandemic never took place. Um, this is an interesting slide about what's called ESG, environmental social governance. You see this term a lot with public companies, um, but basically what this is, let's look at some of these numbers on the right. Consumers are saying they'd rather buy from a company that takes health and wellness seriously, millennials even more so, um, and, and, and Americans in general at a very high rate. So this is saying that companies that take um, keeping their facilities, their people, their customers safe and clean um, and doing everything they can to, to accomplish that are going to be seen as, as better companies that, that consumers are more likely to buy from. Um, it's good for business. So companies that are focused on ESG, again, that, that environmental social governance, um, are doing better in the market. And this is, this is looking at things going back to 2014, this data, that companies that are focused on good health, like these companies over here that make this a focus, they have done better in the market than if you look at some of their competition. So this is just some ammo that if you're going into a customer um, talking about, hey, use, these, use our UVC devices, not only for the pandemic, but because your consumers, your employees, your customers um, are going to care into the future, today and into the future, about these topics. Companies that, um, that, that focus on ESG are getting more investment money. If you're an investor, if you're a private uh, equity firm, if you're venture capital, and looking at the types of companies that, that these firms are, are, are investing in, they're investing in a higher rate in companies that focus on 
keeping their facilities clean and safe. So it's really going to be um, um, a focus in the future. Not only is, you know, things like gym memberships, healthy food and company kitchens, we've all kind of seen that Google, Facebook model, right, where they're providing healthy food and snacks for their employees, but it's going to go beyond that into tools that are used in nightly cleaning, you know, hand sanitizing, asking employees to work from home. I do not think, I strongly do not believe after talking to many professionals, many CEOs, um, facilities people, people at universities in the space, this is going to be a continued effort. This is not like, you know, the, 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 the pandemic is finished, the COVID-19 pandemic is finished, all of a sudden it switches, is switched and it's over, nobody cares anymore. It's not gonna happen. I guarantee you it's not gonna happen. It's gonna be a continued focus for many, many, many years to come, the future. Um, and germs are everywhere at all times. This is kind of a cool slide, it's a little scary, but your desktop contains 400 times more germs than in the bathroom because of all the touch points that you have. Germs replicate so rapidly and we're constantly transmitting and contacting germs. So anything that we can do to keep our facilities safer and cleaner, one great tool to do that is with UBC. Anything we can do is gonna be important into the future. So Doug, does that answer the question at all? Does that help you? Um, yeah, I didn't expect all of that. So uh, yeah, that was really good, David. What was Thank it, you. If you had to pick one thing that kind of hit home. What do you think? For me, it's just that, you know, it has been an issue for such a long time, just of a kids being sick in school. I mean, obviously I had a child that had special yeah. needs that has a medical issue. And for me, staying in a hospital for two or three weeks, no one, maybe they come dust the floor, but I would have absolutely left for an hour, walk around to the family center yeah. and had that room clean. That's great, but it's been an issue. I mean, that, that's, and you bring up, you bring up hospitals and, um, you know, I'm sure that all of, all of us, well, hopefully not all of us, but many of us has probably experienced a loved one or a friend being in the hospital and then going in for one thing and then getting an infection in the hospital, just from being around, like Rebecca is saying, there's so much other stuff flying around that hospital. So, so there's no question that, that keeping, whether you're in a, a hospital room or a hotel room or a school, school room, keeping those facilities cleaner is going to be a continued focus, just guaranteed forever in the future. So, all right. Now, I want, now that we've kind of gone through some of the, um, some of the ammo you can use to, um, to, to counter that, that question as to if UVC lighting is still relevant, even at the end of this pandemic and, and after the pandemic, now we'll talk about the, the uh, exciting fixtures and technology that we have. So I wanted to just uh, remind everybody really fast about our history and experience in the space. These pictures down here, this is a prototype on the right, and this is um, a central line catheter. So if a patient has a really bad surgery, they have to get a catheter put in to inject fluids or pull blood out. That's what a picture of that is. I've been working on this space since 2014. In 2016, I formed a company called Gamma, Gamma Therapeutics. And we are a leading medical device startup working on LED sterilization devices for the Army. So that's what this is over here. This is a device that we've developed for the Army. There's a UVC LED here and a little optic that plugs into the hub there and you press a button and sterilizes that, that catheter. So when this pandemic happened last year, I said, wow, I can take the experience, the science, the know-how I have in, in ultraviolet lighting and apply it to some devices like Doug showed you and I'm about to show you under the Light Efficient Design Lumi Cleanse brand. So we have a heavy background in this space, a long background in this space. And um, if you wanted me to speak personally to any you know, facilities person or, um, or anybody that questioned our uh, experience in the space, I'd be happy to do so. Um, just a recap, if you are a facility, what are your options out there? Chemical, surface coatings, air, and light-based. We're now going to be offering light-based cleaning. Doug showed you one of them. I'm about to show you another one. And then one device we're really excited to launch, which combines light-based and air purification. That'll be the last device, that, the last product rather that I discuss. Let's take a little bit of a deep dive into how light disinfects. So as I'm sure all of us know, um, light is measured in wavelength and nanometers. And we're talking about UV today. That's over here on the left and visible, you know, what we're used to all day from from uh, sitting under our lights, our regular LED lights, that's visible. And then infrared is over here on the right. Specifically, we're talking about UVC, UVC. The reason why UVC is so powerful is it doesn't exist on earth. It's not created by the sun. It's not created by any natural source. 
It's only created by man. So the, um, these viruses, these bacteria, these, these funguses, all of these pathogens, they have not um, built up natural defenses against UVC. That's why UVC is able to kill them so quickly. So how exactly does UVC work? What's the what are, what's kind of the, the, um, the actual methodology or process that happens? Here's a, a image of a UV, a uh, DNA strand rather before UV treatment. You can see how all those, um, all those, those, uh, those uh, ladder bridges, if you will, are all nicely lined up. Those are all of your little DNA strands. After the UVC treatment, those are broken. So microorganisms like viruses, bacteria, they reproduce by multiplying. And when they can't grow and multiply, that means that, that they, they're rendered uh, cellular deaf and they're no longer pathogenic. So when you expose these organisms to UVC, this is what happens, breaks that DNA, disrupts that DNA, prohibits reproduction, and we're good. They're not going to um, infect anybody any further. So the two products that I'm gonna talk about, the UVC tower and the UVC air. First, let's do the UVC tower. Here's a great little image um, that shows the unit and how it could be deployed. So this is a cubicle farm. Maybe this is rolled in at night when the cleaning team comes in and um, it's gonna work up to 2000 square feet. So this could do a pretty large space from just one device. Here's a look of it again, um, just to give you some size perspective. It's about 60 inches tall, about 20 inches in base. It's on these three casters down here. Um, here's the overhead view, bird's eye view. You can see it has three motion sensors, one, two, three. So it has three motion sensors so that no matter where you are in that space, as soon as um, an animal or a human was to come into that space accidentally, not knowing that the, uh, the UVC disinfection is taking place, it's gonna immediately stop. These are using uh, quartz lamps. We're all, we're, in all of our devices today, we're using um, proven UVC quartz lamps at 254 nanometers. This unit, you can choose either 30, 60, or 120 minutes of operation. Talked about that safety in mind with that, um, that integrated motion sensor. Um, it's compact, it has a cord, just like the UVC uh, one, UVC tower has a cord on it, plug on the end of it, doesn't require professional installation, roll this into a space, um, press a button on the remote, and you're good to go. You're disinfecting immediately. Doug talked briefly about the uh, dosimeter cards. He talked about how excited he is. Um, this is a great way to show your customer that, that the UVC tower or the UVC one that Doug showed earlier is actually working. It's actually killing. It's disinfecting the space. So again, these are play, playing card style, um, playing card sized little cards. And these are going, this center circle is going to change color to match up with how much energy, how much UVC energy has been received in that area of the room. And it says on the back how much energy is required, for example, to kill the, the, the virus that's causing COVID-19 or killing or, or um, how much energy is required to kill other organisms, organisms, whether it be bacteria, viruses, funguses. Um, one of our wonderful reps shared with, uh, shared with us a test that one of her customers did. This is from uh, Agency Ricard up in Canada. And this is in a laboratory. You can see we're using the UVC-1, right? This is the UVC-1 unit. And over here on, the, on that cabinet, you can see one of those playing cards. They've got double-sided sticky tape on the back. So they put one there. They also put one over here further away and they put a control under it where the light wouldn't be able to reach it. Basically what they wanted to be able to see during this test, this customer wanted to see during this test is that the control didn't, turn, didn't change color because the light wouldn't be able to reach it. So by knowing that the, that the control doesn't change color, that's good, we actually want that, but we do wanna see this one and this one change color, right? So here's the results. You can see this one, this one's pretty close to the unit, probably about seven feet away, seven, eight feet away. See how that center color changed to pink? That means that it received this much energy, which is way more than is required to kill the COVID-19 causing virus. Here's this one about maybe 20 feet away. You can see how this one received about 25. Again, that's still enough to kill um, the virus that we care about during this pandemic. And then this one, still yellow, didn't change color. That's the control, that's the uh, result we wanted. So that's just the kind of a example of how this could work. But this is a really inexpensive, fast way to go into a space, 
and one, prove to your customer that the UVC light is actually out there reaching the spaces that um, the places that, that they need, and two, that it's gonna have enough energy to kill the virus that we care about today. Hopefully that helped a little bit explain the dosimeter cards. All right, so we talked about the UVC tower, we talked about um, the dosimeter cards, now let's move to something really exciting, a new product that we're launching called the UVC air purifier. This is our first time taking the UVC technology, but creating a unit that right here, can be used while the space is occupied. The UVC-1, UVC tower, those, because they have visible UVC light, can't run them 24 seven, right? Can only be run when people are not in the space. With the UVC air purifier, that can be run continuously around the clock, constantly filtering, filtering the air. There's a picture of the unit. This is with uh, Tushar, who's our uh, wonderful in-house product manager for the Lumi Cleanse UVC brand. So he's our expert, our engineering expert on this technology. And this is the unit. So you can see how big it is, about four, four and a half feet tall. Inside of here, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six UVC quartz lamps at 254 nanometers. These are inside the unit and there's filtration, which pulls the air in. Um, there's a pre-filter, a HEPA filter and a carbon filter that all hit that air before it hits the UVC tubes. And then it's gonna push that air out the other end. So this can be run continuously. Why? Because you can see that cover is removed, but when that cover is installed, there is no visible UVC being emitted. It's only, um, it's only, only the air being sucked through the unit is seeing that, that UVC light. This has a, um, it comes with a remote, it comes with an app. The app is pretty cool because if you had, say um, in this example that Tushar designed for us, we're in, our, um, we're in our Middleton, Massachusetts Innovation Center for Light Efficient Design. And we have a device in my office, we have a device in the cafeteria, we have one in conference room A and B, Doug's office and in the kitchen. Um, if we had all those devices on the app, we'd be able to, um, we, paired with the app rather, we'd be able to on the phone, um, modify settings, um, create a schedule, and um, it makes it just a lot easier if you have multiple devices in a space for the air purifier to turn them on and control them and get them to work. So really cool, that's included at no extra cost with the UVC air purifier. We have third-party testing available for all of our products, the UVC one, the UVC tower, the UVC air purifier. So we have third-party testing where they're taking these devices in a certified lab and testing them against certain pathogens and we're gonna continue to do that. So we're gonna have new test results come out from, we're working with a US lab right now. It's been difficult to work with US labs because they've been so backed up, but we're in queue to get some testing done at a, a US laboratory. So we'll have more testing and that's all gonna be available on the website under that product, under documentation. All right, let's look quickly at an example project. This is a hotel casino. Um, and this is kind of explaining how you would, and we can, we can help you with this, but say that you have a hotel or a casino or a resort and they're looking for guidance as to where the devices and how many of the devices should be deployed. So this is an example, um, you know, single bedroom, standard room in a, in a hotel. You can see the bed here, here's your headboard, here's your TV, here's the sofa, here's your bathroom. So we're saying in this example room, the yellow dots, one, two, three of the UVC ones could be placed in there with a disinfection time of 30 minutes. Let's go to a larger room now in this example hotel. This is kind of a suite with again, here's your headboard, your bed, um, here's, a, here's one bathroom, here's another bathroom, here's a uh, TV viewing area with a sofa and some little seating over here. So six of them would be deployed, one, two, three, four, five, six, or, we could use the larger UVC tower and now we're the red dot. So instead of using six of the UVC ones, because that UVC tower can handle up to 2000 square feet, we can use one, two, three of those. So two different ways to, um, to attack the same, the, same, uh, room, the same room. But if you do want any help with guidance on where to lay these out, um, please let us know and we'd be happy to help you with that. Let's compare our UVC-1, UVC tower, and UVC air to some existing products on the market, some competition. So first let's look at that UVC-1. So if we compare our LumiCleanse UVC-1 to two other brands that we found online, 
Um, these are either available online from, um, from, from popular distributors or from brick and mortar. But these are two units that we've come up against that customers have said, hey, we're up against this unit or rep has said, hey, we're up against this unit. How does it compare? So brand A, the price was about 10% lower. Um, same, similar wattage, it did have ETL, it did have a sensor. It, has, um, it didn't have an integral panel and remote control, just the Wi-Fi app, which for a small device like this probably has its pros and cons. Um, it does about the, it, it claims to do about the same square footage. We're at 300, this is 430. The two negatives about this unit that we pointed out to the customer, one is it has a plastic frame. This is a big deal that UVC um, can really wear down that plastic and it's flimsy. I purchased this unit, it feels flimsy. It's not a strong powder coated metal frame like we're using. It feels cheap. It feels like more of a residential do it yourself product, not like a commercial industrial product like ours. So that's one drawback. The other big drawback in my mind is that there, there has an, it has an unknown UVC dose. They, they're not telling you how much UVC dose comes out of it. Whereas ours we've measured, we've verified, puts out at least 50 millijoules per square centimeter. Brand B was about 25% higher, higher in cost. Um, similar wattage, did not have any safety certification. Didn't have ETL, didn't have UL, not something you would want to promote to, um, to, to, a, you know, to a university, to an to a, um, office building, to a property manager without that safety certification, right? A lot of liability there. Did not have a sensor. Um, you need that integrated sensor in order to get ETL or UL. They didn't have it. That's a big reason why they probably don't have that safety certification. Uh, metal frame is here, does have remote control. They claimed higher square footage. I don't buy it. We've measured our device and how, and how, how large of a space it can um, disinfect. They're saying a larger square footage. They're not even publishing their UVC dose. So a little bit sketchy there. Whereas ours, um, you know, you have the safety certification, you have the sensor, you have the known UVC dosage and a realistic claim on the disinfection area. Now let's do the same comparison with a UVC tower, again, against two products here on the right that we found on the market and that customers or reps have asked us about. Brand A, um, this is this one over here. It's about twice the price of our unit. It uses less power less UVC power, so it doesn't have as, as powerful lamps. It does have ETL, good. Didn't have integrated sensor, bad. Not good for a safe use. Um, comes on this industrial steel cart, it's fine. Um, and they only claim about 800 square foot, probably because it's significantly lower power. And it's really just not the way that the lamps are uh, laid out there. Ours is more in a pyramid fashion, so you really get the light blasting out 360. This looks like it's more kind of designed to blast in a certain direction. Brand B, this unit right here, it's about 40% higher price than our unit, um, uses more power, did not have ETL or UL, okay for maybe the European market, maybe Canada, not great for the US market, um, does have a sensor, good, um, controllability was fine, um, frame, the look of it's nice. They're not claiming any UVC dosage, dosage or any disinfection area. So who knows what they can do there. So that's another good comparison. And then let's compare, lastly, um, this is our unit. Uh, oops, I had the, the price there. This, that would be our approximate, um, I don't know, I, I think that's, that's probably, I didn't mean to include the price there, but Doug, is that what we're thinking for, for uh, distributor pricing? No, I think that might be uh, retail. That's like MSRP. That's an example yeah. MSRP with the distributor market built in. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if we look at brand A, that's this small unit up here. It was a lower price. It was about half the price of our unit. It's only 18 watts. Ours uses 216 watts. This is 18 watts. Think about that. That is no way that that could disinfect even close to the amount of area as ours. Does have certification, good. Um, ours has that control panel and the remote control and the ability to, to work on it from an iPhone or, um, or Android app. Um, theirs doesn't have that, just basic control on the unit. They're claiming about a thousand square feet, doesn't have any additional filtration. Ours has the pre-filter, the HEPA and the carbon, hint, hint, that may come up during the quiz. Pre-filter, HEPA and carbon, in addition to the UVC, they got nothing. Just a fan pulling air in, throwing it on that UVC bulbs, pushing it out. Brand B, this is this unit right here, nice looking unit. Price was about 20% higher than ours. 
less UVC power, right, right here. Um, controllability, I think it just has uh, safety. They didn't even publish what they had. I assume they probably, because of the price point, they have ETL or UL, but they didn't say it on the cut sheet. Controllability, they didn't really talk about it. So it may just be a, a couple of buttons there. And they're only claiming, it does have, a, it does have one pre-filter, so that's good. And they're only claiming 430 square feet. So higher price unit, um, lower wattage, doesn't do nearly what we can do with square footage. So hopefully that helped show you some of the competition um, and how we stack up and happy to share these slides with you um, or, or help you compare our unit when things come up with any of your customers. So I think that was good. We talked about some of the ammo uh, that you can use against a, a disgruntled customer like Doug um, in the beginning of our presentation to say, hey, UBC is still very relevant through this pandemic and after this pandemic. Talked about some of the science, introduced the UBC tower and the UBC air, and then showed you how those units stack up compared to the competition.